Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Hit the notification bell, that way you know when I have new videos up. Today we're going to talk about how we're getting by waiting on our solar generator. We ordered the Blue Eddy and it is in production and we have not received notification yet that ours is in production, but um, so we're patiently waiting and we're getting by and we're going to show you how. Alright, so in the van what I did was I wired the fan, the lights, front and rear, the water pump, and then the um, gray tank pump all to this so that this could run to the back generator. It's got a 12 volt, which is tight, um, adapter, and then it's got a USB port. They're both 2.1 amp, 5 volt, yeah, two of those. So that controls all the inside stuff. Then what I did was I, I wired two outlets. They are designated in, um, independently. So um, got one on one side of the van. And then if you look over here, you've got one on this side of the van. This one, which you can't tell right now. Let me see. You, it works as a nightlight. Um, so that's on at night. So we've got constant light. And so... One of the big things is when we're traveling, this guy. So what we did was this is plugged in to an outlet in the back. But we need to be able to power this while we're driving. And the jackery that we have is really not strong enough to run this for hours and hours and hours at a time. Underneath the cabinet here, what I did was I've got a cord and it comes out and it goes to the front of the van, Kelly, if you'll, and it goes to a little inverter that is directly wired and that just goes in there. It's directly wired to the van itself. To the van battery so that's how i charge the refrigerator while we're in transit okay so if you're a fan of led lights they come usb or they come 110 so what i wanted was a little strand underneath the counter and i didn't want to run power down there i didn't want to run an outlet underneath there so what I did and what most people can do that did are off-grid building out their own van is underneath here I've got some LED lights those are a great accent they're also really nice for at night just hanging out in the van but in order to run those without power look what I did so we had an old anchor sitting around and it's just a power bank if you charge this up, it will run LED lights for days and days at a time. And so that will just Velcro underneath here on the shelf. And it just tucks away in there. And then you've got no, no wires run, no, nothing um, that you have to do any technical work on. Literally plug it into the power bank and you have LED lights. So, and then they work on remote control. So you're done. You plug it into the little power bank and you're done. So anyone can do that. Okay, so right now how we're making everything work is this little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. This is the Jackery. It's the 240 and this has worked perfect for us. We've been using it probably for about two months. And it's got one um, 12 volt, one AC, two USB. And what I've done is I've got a splitter for my 12 volt. It's right here. And this will hold up to like 125 watt. 
and this goes in here. So one of these I've got wired to the switch panel in there that controls the fan, the lights, the water pump, and the, and the gray tank pump. So that goes to one of these. The other one controls my toilet fan. Um, and then that's really the only thing that this controls. So when I'm completely off grid, I've got lights, got my water and my drain, and um, the fan. When you're only running this, it really only lasts, if you've got everything on, it's only really going to last for about 8 to 10 hours, depending on what you're running. So one of the things that I do is I make sure that I take my fan, and I don't run my fan at 100% because that really pulls the extra wattage. So I put it at about 60% and then that's perfect for us. So that, that runs everything. Now the good thing is if you're on shore power, you plug the jackery in with your plug, that constantly is staying charged while you're running all your equipment. And that's, all right, so my shore power comes in and it goes to the surge protector. The surge protector controls both outlets in the front. And then I also have a uh, outlet over by my water pump. My water heater goes in there and the refrigerator goes in there. So those are designated. Those come across, plug into here. The outlets plug into here. What else do I have in here? I think that's it for right now. And just the Jackery. And I am able to power everything up on shore power or DC, DC, and I don't have to switch anything over. I don't have to touch anything. If I plug in my van, it's being charged off of the shore power. If I unplug my van, it automatically goes to the Jackery. So now if I want an outlet inside to work, when I'm off grid, I have to plug one of my outlets in into the Jackery. Now, one thing you have to remember, if you've got the Jackery, you can't run like a blender. You can't run something that has a, a high startup power. But, you want to make a cup of coffee and you got a little coffee pot, this thing will hold it perfectly. So, so, so far, while we're waiting for our Blue Eddy, the Jackery 240 is doing great for us. So, anyway, so that's how we're powering up our van while we wait for our Blue Eddy, which hopefully we will get sometime in November. All right, so what we did was we wanted 200 watts of solar that we can move anywhere we're at, and we wanted 200 watts on the van. So while we're waiting for our rack on the van, we've got our solar suitcase. And what I did was I got this adapter. It's got your solar connection. And then this is an adapter that I bought separately. And it comes with several different adapters. And this will plug directly into the Jackery. So if I'm off grid and I need to charge my Jackery, I've got 200 watts of solar that connects directly to the Jackery. So, so that's my electrical setup. Thanks for following along and we'll see you guys on the next video.